thought I'd do a quick video here. I've been getting some questions about my custom operating system and kind of like feature requests for something that really isn't needed. And I just wanted to try and cover it real quick. So I have Tuner Pro open up and I'm just gonna go over this. So people are asking for somewhere in between like a two bar and a four bar, like, oh, what if I wanna run a three bar map sensor? Like, oh, I. I can't, I'm losing resolution if I wanna use a two bar and, and all these questions, but I think there's a misunderstanding of what the difference is between the VE table that you're selecting and also the map sensor that you're using. So in Tuner Pro here, you can go into the engine calibration. So in here under the barometer, drop down you can see map sensor scaler and map sensor offset so I'm in one of my tunes for my truck which I run a three bar map sensor so you go in here and there's the scaler and the offset so that basically is how you calibrate the tune for the map sensor that you're running so if you're running a one bar a two bar a three bar a four bar a two and a half bar you can run any map sensor you want anywhere in there and this is how you set it up. So this is, you know, for a three bar, it's, you know, for my map sensor, they gave me the parameters to put in these settings. So 305 KPA at five volts and um, zero at zero volts. So basically that's what those parameters are. And then no matter what you put in there, I can go into the Boost OS and I can run, you know, a two, or a you know four bar map sensor or four bar VE table. And that doesn't dictate what my map sensor selection is. So my map sensor will only read up to 305 KPA. So this table is effectively useless, you know, up past this 315 line because it will interpolate between 302 and 315 KPA up to 305 kPa. And then same thing can happen for, I can run a two bar V table. I don't have this filled out because I'm obviously not running it, but if I were to be selecting this VE table, you know, if I just go in here and hit one, I would be able to run the two bar VE table and it would only go up to 220 kPa and it would max out there, even though I would be able to log up to 305 kPa, the VE table would just basically cap out because that's the max value on the table. Now, the other question I get is like, oh, I'm losing resolution on my one bar, you know, VE table. Like you can use this OS and you can select a two bar um, VE table and this is the exact same table as what is on the stock table. So 15 to 105 KPA, if you're running a one bar map sensor, this is the same size as the stock VE table. So there's no need to worry about, oh, I'm, I'm losing resolution or, or, oh, it won't work. Like it will work. You just have to put in the right numbers for your map sensor and then select whichever VE table makes sense for you to use. Um, obviously if you're running a one bar or two bar or even a two and a half bar, you could technically use the two bar VE table. You could also use the four bar VE table, but that seems pointless because then you you are losing resolution on your VE table because, you know, if you're running a two bar map sensor, you're squishing down to only this many cells when you could be using the two bar sensor and have double the amount of cells to tune. Now, you know, that, that also could make it more difficult to tune because you have more more numbers to dial in. Um, but yeah, just wanted to cover that really quick. Um, if there's any qu other questions about other features or um, issues that you're having, um, yeah, leave them down in the comments below and I'll make another quick video. So thanks. See you later.